botulinum toxin A, which you may commonly hear referred to as Botox or Dysport, is often used to treat children with some of the more common problems of spasticity or muscle stiffness. And it generally has very few side effects. The, the range, see how that catches. Botulinum toxin A acts locally on the injected muscles and decreases or relaxes spasticity. The spastic muscles will then grow and lengthen better. The treatment provides a window of opportunity for physiotherapy and orthotics to work more effectively. At first it was really, really good. It was, you know, we got about up to six months playtime with him to, um, to do the physiotherapy and the serial castings and everything like that. And at first it was working fairly well. Then it got to having it done every six or every six weeks or, you know, after six weeks it wasn't working and, and that. Uh, for Jack it wasn't, wasn't the right thing. And we had to make the decision of try it one more time or um, let it go. And so we've said no more. You know, we, we gave it some really good shots with Botox. But in the other hand, I have, I have seen really good results in other children. It's like anything, really. What's good for one may not be good for the other. And it's just a matter of trial and error. As with all procedures, careful examination and consultation is required to determine the suitability of botulinum toxin A treatment. It won't be appropriate for everyone. The child's team of medical professionals, therapists and parents okay. needs to be involved in the planning stage of any botulinum toxin A treatment so that the expected outcomes and goals can be realized. She had it injected in her right hand, um, would have been about two years ago now, wouldn't it? Yeah. Um, as a study, I got her in on a study and it's worked amazingly. Um, she can colour in almost all in the lines now. She can do dot to dots that she couldn't do before. Um, she can write her name clearer. Uh, she couldn't do it before and now you can actually look at it and you can see that it's her name. She can do so much more now with that hand that she couldn't do before. And they say maybe it wasn't just the Botox, it's her, you know, persistent as well, but the Botox definitely loosened her hand muscles and since then she is just gone. <laughs>